Hi everybody, this is Linda G. Robert, your solution lady and your coach with another insight. I just came back from a silent retreat and I'm still kind of feeling the effects of it. Apparently it's going to take me a few days to, uh, to, to uh, you know, get over it. Anyways, um, during the silent retreat, of course, we were in silence. There were some moments where we had to... Um, we were invited to to share what we were going through and on my way back home I started processing all kinds of you know different information and now what I'm thinking of is identity and how we identify and sometimes cling on to roles and titles that we've had so you know lately I've made some decisions I've um, given my notice at work and I'm going to be moving from where I live and so the role that I had and the title that I had uh, you know in another six weeks or so I won't have that title anymore and I won't have my house anymore and because I'm not sure where I'm going there's a lot of unknowns so the idea about um, that I want to share with you today is about identity and who we are you know who we are as a human being and who we are as a soul or, or as a spirit um, because you know when we've worked most of our lives as a teacher or as a doctor or perhaps we were a caregiver for most of our life whatever it is um, oftentimes we take on that role after that role is done we continue to be teachers maybe not paid as teachers and we don't have the official title as a teacher but we continue to be teachers and we continue to be helpers or caregivers and so on and there's nothing wrong with that I'm not not saying that what I'm suggesting is for you to consider who are you without the roles without the title of caregiver or without the title of doctor or without the title of teacher who are you you might be a brother you might be a sister you might be a wife but strip away all those roles and ask yourself who am I really and during this uh, retreat we came to understand that we as a human being are constantly evolving the self that I was yesterday is not the same self as I am today and I won't be the same self as I am tomorrow I am constantly shifting changing and becoming becoming something different evolving right so I have multiple me's <laughs> I have multiple me's imagine that and it's kind of uh, refreshing when you think about it that you know what I don't have to cling on to the me that I was 10 years ago when I'm opening myself up to the various experiences that I go through and the different relationships that I'm around or that I put myself around or that I surround myself with I am opening myself up to evolving and to becoming a different me I think that's fascinating I think it's interesting especially if our purpose as a human being is to grow and to help sometimes others grow as well so the question is who are you today you know I'm selling my house I was just sharing that and who am I without a house I won't be a homeowner anymore I might not even be a renter I don't know right now what I'm gonna be but who am I right and who am I without that role that I had for for many many years it's quite interesting and you know some things come up there's fears that come up there's um, you know loss of loss loss of various things that are coming up 
So as I'm stripping away all of these layers, I am simply am. I simply am me. Yeah, I'm simply me. And if I allow myself to simply be me, be, be me, the authentic me, as I walk with, um, you know, with friends or as I walk alone and allow myself to be me, allow myself to emerge as a human being, laugh if I want to, cry if I'm compelled to, I become more a sensitive and perhaps a compassionate person too by being open to that. And by noticing when I'm not so comfortable with this or with that. We were doing an exercise, I uh, did that yesterday. We walked a labyrinth. And essentially we had to do some mindfulness walking, mindful walking, where as we're breathing in, we're taking a step. And as we're breathing out, we're taking another step. Or we're just taking a step and as we notice, oh, are shifting, we become unbalanced, we plant both our feet, and we become more balanced again. So allowing ourselves to feel that shaky ground, and then knowing that I will get grounded again, I will find balance again, because when you think about it, our life is a series of unbalances, and balances, unbalances, and balances. We get thrown off, and eventually in time we become balanced again. This is life, right? This is life. And even though our life might seem to be very stable, sometimes, as silly as it sounds, the weather throws us, throws us off. So we are constantly having to go through changes, even though we don't we don't realize it. And we're constantly having to make shifts, uh, move this way, or bend this way, so that we can adjust to those changes. And then, of course, when a big change comes in, we don't think we can handle it. But you know what? You can handle it. Because you've learned along the way to simply be and to manage on a day-to-day -day basis, basis those slight, slight and subtle changes. So because there's a big change, we think we might not, but, but we, we can, and we indeed do. Sometimes that transition period might be a little longer, right? might take a day or two or three or maybe months, but we eventually get grounded again. We eventually find our balance again. So that's, that's the hope, right? And, uh, and this is what I tell myself as I'm going to be going through these changes, is that I know, I know that I'll find balance again. My two feet are going to be grounded again. And they might get, you know, they might get thrown off again. But I know that eventually things do fall into place and settle and so even though you might strip away all the roles or choose, because in my case it was, it was a choice that I made. If I choose to strip away those roles and responsibilities and the homes and all that stuff and all the material goods that go with it, I still am me. I still am that spirit. Right? I might feel scared and fluttered and might feel unbalanced. But when I take a breath and when I plant both feet on the ground, I am simply me in this very moment. And that's what I have to remember. That's what you have to remember if you're going through that kind of time or period. Plant your feet on the ground. Get, get nice and steady. And just take a breath before you choose to lift your foot and keep walking. Isn't that interesting? You know, one of the questions that came up was, um, 
uh, this person that was sharing in the group was saying she had her feet grounded and she was asking herself, why do I have to keep moving? Isn't that interesting? You know, she was walking that labyrinth and she found herself in a place where she didn't want to move. She was comfortable being where she was at. And so she asked herself that. Why do I have to move? <laughs> so you might ask yourself that too. If I'm comfortable things the way things are now, why would I want to move? And I had to ask myself that question too. As I'm going through all of these changes, I have to ask myself, why do I have to have some shaky grounds right now? Well, there's many reasons. Uh, in other videos, I was sharing that uh, the process of making a decision sometimes is long. And there might be all kinds of signs out there that tell you, you got to make a decision. You have to move on. It's time. Well, you make the decision when you're ready to make the decision. That's it. And when you make the decision, when I made the decision, I knew that my ground was going to be unstable for a while. And I'm okay with that. Because I trust that my feet <laughs> at some point will be back on the ground stable. And then I take a breath and I take a next step. That's it. Let's try to keep it that simple. That simple. Anyways, I hope that uh, with my little insights that you learn something from it because that's the purpose of it. That's the purpose of me sharing some of my deep, 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 deep lessons with you is that you get something out of it. Anyways, this is Linda G. Robert, your solution lady and your coach. Meeting you at you for now. If you want more information on my services, check me out at www.lindagrobert.com and please follow me on YouTube because I'm not found, I'm not on Facebook anymore. <laughs> Have a good day. Bye bye.